Hey, welcome to Sports News Review. This is Tuesday Sports and NFL News. I'll start with some world sports. And first I'll start with the uh, Canadian perspective on world sports and their swimming. Uh, Kelly Moss misses world podium placing fourth in women's 100 meter backstroke. Uh, Kelly Moss did not make the uh, podium. It was in the final of the women's 100 meter backstroke. She placed fourth. But we still have hope for Canadian, Canadian fans. Summer McIntosh easily qualifies for women's 200 meter freestyle for the final. So Summer McIntosh will be in the 200 meter freestyle uh, in the final, which is uh, I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. If I read this, er I read this earlier. And let's see, it's a uh, yeah, 200 meter freestyle time. Uh, okay, so it's going to be on Wednesday. Hopefully, I report another report that she wins gold, but we'll see from there. Okay, so looks like in the swimming is not much. There's the uh, it's called the FINA. World Aquatics Championships, and that's all the news for the Canadian perspective that's there. And in the women's uh, uh, World Cup, Canada will be playing Ireland in a must win game against. Or Canada will be playing Ireland in a must win game. And it's on Wednesday. So. I did watch the Nigeria game. That was kind of like it was a strange game where Nigeria was the wasn't the better team that day, but they got a draw out of it. Which uh, to Nigeria fan, to Nigerian uh, soccer fans, that's that was good enough. The only thing that was really strange that I noticed was one Nigerian uh, player decided to. Who, uh, really take it to the to the uh, Canadian player and, and uh, just did a really bad what they call a tackle in uh, in soccer or football in the other side of the world and her, the Canadian player or women's player her leg bent in a funny shape so the, the Nigerian soccer player uh, got a red card and got ejected from the game and she's probably out for another game because of it but uh, it's, the Canadian women's player recovered that's why I'm saying this it's good news because she she recovered from it but the way her leg just the foot and leg bent oh that was just like I, I thought for sure that player was injured but that was a zero zero draw and uh, that's not much left in the world sports perspective. It's not much. Let's see. There's a. Uh, okay, we have. Uh, well, not much happening elsewhere. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. There's the Tour de France. I totally forgot there's a Tour de France. With all the information we have that we at our disposal, as they say, and I still can't, I still, I missed it. Okay, so it's been a long jury. Vinegard, V-I-G-E-G-A-A-R-D, wins Tour de France for second consecutive year. I did not know he was the second consecutive year that he won the Tour de France. He this is this is a nice screenshot of it. They show here's a nice screenshot of it where there is the person in question. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so not bad. Okay. So that's your winner. Danish rider seized control of a three week, 3,405 kilometer race over two stages in the Alps. 
so Jonas Vindegaard of Denmark sporting the overall lead is Jersey won the 21st and the final stage of the 110th edition of the Tour de France on Sunday in Paris. Oh, I totally forgot about the Tour de France. Okay, so uh, not much there. Oh, well, it looks like in, we got World Tennis. Number two, Dolcevic withdraws from Toronto's National Bank Open due to fatigue. Okay, I, I suppose they could have these. Tennis Canada announced on Saturday that Dolcevic had to pull out of the only Canadian stop on the ATP tour scheduled due to fatigue. Thir 36, remember, 36 years old. 23 time Grand Slam champion. Reached the final Wilmington last weekend. Oh, yes, I forgot about that. It, we asked. The winner was Spain's Carlos Alcaraz. And, okay. Well, so there's a nice photo of him. And it shows a photo of him that he looks fatigued. Okay, that's, that is, that's funny. <laughs> Here you go. He's right beside the coach. <laughs> Can I make it look like he's right beside the coach? No. I have to go this high. Okay, I have to go this close here. Alright. Okay, so that's fatigue factor there. Okay. Uh there's not much else happening. <gasps> oh. I like this. This uh, these are from the back of the days, the glory days of the Toronto Blue Jays. Former Blue Jay Fred McGriff stole Scott Rowland entered Baseball Hall of Fame. I didn't know that. Wow, Fred McGriff. It's Frederick Stanley McGriff. Wow, that's wow, Fred McGriff. Look at all smiles. Nice, Fred McGriff, Toronto Blue Jay. Former Toronto Blue Jays into the Hall of Fame, Baseball Hall of Fame. Now, what a winning smile! Alrighty, nice. Those are the glory days. I, I see. Inductees: Fred McGriff, and then it says Scott Rowan. I I can't. I don't know who Scott Rowan is. He was a 17-year career. The greatest moment of Scott Rowland's 17-year career didn't come during his 2006 World Series runs with the St. Louis Cardinals or even his outstanding full season in 1997 with the Philadelphia Phillies, which earned him the unanimous National League Rookie of the Year honors. I, I totally forgot. Okay, this is what Scott Rowland will look like when he... When he went to the at, at the Hall of Fame, this is what Scott Rowland looked like when he went to the Hall of Fame. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's go. Uh, just do a quick sidebar here. Let's see, young Freddie McGriff <laughs> and young young Scott Rowland. Okay, uh, okay. Let's see. Fred Mc Fred McGriff Fred Frederick McGriff. See, these are the days I remember. This is the iconic days I remember Fred McGriff. And of course, it's the iconic. Okay. Okay. I got problems here with the. Shouldn't have pinched it open like that. It doesn't want to close now. Okay. I like this way. Okay, so. Here's the Fred Mc, here's Fred McGriff from back in my youth with that iconic baseball cap that I I, I I I hope I wish I had one of those baseball caps now. I know young kids would love one of those. Anything anything old is new again when it's different looking. And yes, this is really different looking. You got Oh yes. There he is, there he is folks. Fred McGriff. Those were the days I know those were the days Fred McGriff uh, those were the days I, I, it just it, it's quite the change let's see 
<laughs> Quick to change. You showing a picture from where he looks like now, eh? And oh, there's Fred McGriff again. But for me, this is this is always gonna be Fred McGriff for me again. Once again, and that's how I always remember Fred McGriff. And then the Scott Rowland. I'll see you, Scott. Rowland. What's what does Scott Rowland look like in his playing days? Let's see. S E O T T. Of course, they're gonna be right up there. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember this player. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, folks, this is the other inductee, the Hall of Fame, and I just. Don't remember him. I never watched that much baseball at the end that time. When he was probably in his prime playing, I didn't watch uh, much baseball. But uh, back with the glory days of Toronto Blue Jays, I, I was I was always watching Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, so okay, so we have uh, some more. We have any more news? Oh, we calling it the British Open. Oh, I didn't know there was. Okay, they don't want you, they don't want announcers in uh, in the, uh, P, the the PGA announcers for the, uh, the United States calling it the British Open. But it, still in Canada, we get away with calling it the British Open. It's always been the British Open. I'm gonna. I don't know why they want to not call it the British Open when it's just not good for. I didn't even if you the open when I see the open just the way they want it to be displayed I don't even know what term it is I just overlook it and it, it's like the four leaf clover I overlooked there's the British open I overlooked because I didn't know it was there I didn't know I probably would have seen the words the open and didn't think of anything of it but anyway but Brian Harmon of the United States celebrates on the 18th green after winning the fifth hundred and 51st Open Championship on Sunday in Holy Lake, England. Now, they don't want you to call it the British Open, so here is Brian Harmon. I don't know much about this uh, golfer, but there is this nice looking chap. Brian Harmon. Alrighty. Okay, and you uh, let's see. What else do we have? I don't. The dwarf games. Uh, I don't know. After Thai, Nigeria, Canada. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, for. Okay, we'll go towards hockey now. The. Uh, Maple Leafs goalie Ilya Samsonov awarded a one-year 3.55 million U.S. deal in arbitration. Ooh, they went to arbitration. And here he is, Ilya Samsonov. Oh, milk. Funny thing is the logo on the milk logo is funny because Ilya Samsonov, folks. Okay, not that you're going to recognize that, but, okay, so he's back one more year for Toronto, give it another run, okay, okay, so, F1 champion Verstappen extends overall lead with Hungarian Grand Prix Vic, I didn't know, okay, I'm going to click on it. I didn't even know there was a F1 championship. It could be one every weekend. How do I know for a while? Okay. It says, Formula 1 Max Verstappen needed only seconds to stamp his authority over the Hungarian Grand Prix on Sunday and win his seventh straight race at a crushingly dominant season. There, okay, this is not his, kind of it's not his fault. Max Verstappen is not is his fault okay but he's winning and winning and winning is 
and wins real quickly and dominates races. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's it's just funny then. It's it's that's probably why I didn't miss much. I didn't probably care even. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, let's let's just go to some NFL news now. Ooh, already. Uh, ten fantasy draft bargains. Oh. Okay, so. Okay, we. Uh, I'm on a clickbaiter. Let's see. Oh boy, let's 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 have fun NFL because it's not the season yet. Let's. Giselle Bundeshen approves Tom Brady and Iria Arena Shaylax's alleged romance. Um. Okay. Here is Giselle. I guess this is Giselle Bundeshen. Okay. So here is Tom Brady's wife. The one question, and she approves of. Let's see, Tom Brady and Irina Shylack. Irina, <laughs> I gotta show a picture of it because I decided to go full Monty on this one. Tom Brady and Tom Brady and Irina. That was already up there. Okie dokie. TMZ, of course. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. TMZ. You, they, oh, when you're, you, they get you good on TMZ. <laughs> they get you good. There it is. <laughs> okay. That's just a little bit of fun. TMZ. Okay. Okay. If you are TMZ worthy, they, this is the power trio here. It looks like this is the power trio in question here. There it is. Old flame, Tom Brady, new flame, it looks like. There's the old Tom and new. <laughs> old Tom and new flame. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay, folks, that's enough. Okay, let's get to some... Let's just get back to some NFL news here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find... Okay, so let's try to find some NFL news. I don't want NFL.com yet because it's all. That's a little vanilla for me. It's a little vanilla. Okay. I'm going to go to NFL News. Okay. NFL News. Okay. Oh, Denver Broncos reveal all white snow capped alternate helmet. I don't dislike it. I, I don't dislike it. I, I, I'm okay with it. The old D, the old Denver D. Um, I guess if you don't want to go to the back to the other colors, but the old Denver D is a prayer with a horse. Okay, so this is just a third alternate helmet. So it's all right. What matters is uh, what's on what's on the scoreboard is what matters. Chiefs wide receiver Kadarius Tony undergoes knee surgery. Status for week one in doubt. Oh no. Okay, so here is what. Okay, here is the person in question. This is Kadarius Tony, and he's undergoing knee surgery right now. Okay, uh, that's not good. Oh, it's got to hurt. Okay. Patriots cornerback Jack Jones expected to practice during training gap amid legal issues. Uh-oh. What legal issues? Oh, no. Did I step into this one? I don't know if I wanted to step in. I don't know if I... Uh, Jack, Jones partic Jack Jones is, partic is expected to participate in camp... Um, Current situation, yeah. 
Jack will be there. It's a legal situation I can't comment. If Jack Jones pled not guilty during June 20 reign and following his arrest on gun charges stemming from a June 8, 17 incident at Logan International Airport. Oh, 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 the Logan International Airport incident. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. I just, I, I, I don't know what fascination with him is. You're in the NFL and you, God, what? Why can't you? Why, it, it doesn't matter if you're not in the NFL, if you're in the NFL. So here is the player, Jack Jones. Here's the player in question, and to me, it's like, um, why? Why would you bring guns to an airport? How did you thought? How did you forget they were there? Okay, so I don't know. Why? Why would you even? I, I bet you there's a lot of people asking the same questions. Why would you even do that? Okay, Packers head coach Matt Lafleur totally, uh, really excited to see quarterback Jordan Love's preseason. Okay. Well, there's a nice red-shirted, as I say, red shirt. But because you know, in practice, you don't hit the quarterback at all. But you only touch the quarterback in practice. Okay. So here he is, number ten. Is Jordan Love's red shirt jersey uh, on the team. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jimmy Graham returns to Saints on a one-year deal. Oh, give it a shot. Another one last try. One last shot. See what happens. I mean, it could it be that bad? Where that's all they have is Jimmy Graham? Well, this is the player in question, and he's going back to the. Going back to the Saints one more time. Okay, one more year. Let's see. Top players. We haven't even started yet. Training. Oh, yeah. Training camp opens up for a lot of NFL teams. So, with training camp opening up, we're not far from the season. Not far at all. I'm just looking at this. This is NFL.com, it looks like. I'm going to go somewhere a little more less vanilla and put a little pepper into it. I'm going to go to NFL Rumors because there's not much. Well, oh, Michael Thomas. Great news for the Saints. Michael Thomas will be a training camp and says, Wow. It's on a tweet. He wants me to. I, I don't do Twitter. I don't do Twitter or anything like that. I, I realize how, how you could just say someone. You know, I've said it before in other uh, videos where uh, you just say something on a Twitter and regret later. And that was the case I learned when I was just. Somebody was practicing their video camera and I got on camera saying. Oh, this game is unwatchable with the referee. There's the New England versus uh, Atlanta Falcons Super Bowl by the third quarter. I honestly thought the game was over. That was, I was almost thinking that I would be leaving the place where I am and driving home and listening to it on the radio. Um, I just didn't want to stick around the person's house if the game was going to be a washout. Just let them chill for the night, you know, Sunday Sunday night. Let the person chill. Uh, but I didn't move and it, out of my chair, and the game got a game. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it got closer and closer. And the annual history will say the the uh, New England Patriots won the Super Bowl from the, one of the greatest comebacks in Super Bowl history. I'm gonna say I, I'll put it out there. That is probably one of the greatest comebacks in Super Bowl history. But that taught me that lesson of, oh, you can regret saying stuff later. But, you know, that's just the way I said it. This game is unwatchable and ah, it still haunts me thinking, yeah, I got to. I'm 
not gonna go on that. I'm not gonna go on that. It's asking me to sign in with Twitter. I don't have I don't have a Twitter. Sports News Review does not have a Twitter account. Should I do a Twitter account for no apparent reason? I don't know. Maybe I'll try that new one where uh, I'll I'll go on that new one with uh, whatever Facebook one. If I did any, I guess I could do it as an entity. Sports News Review, not my personal, but I I don't, I don't see the point of it. Is it try to get followers and all that stuff. I don't see the point of it. It's, it's, I, I don't really care. There, there's nothing, there's good and bad to every kind of social media, but I, I've said it before and I'll say it again that this is just generally like the easiest way to get on uh, social media with YouTube. It's plug and play around the world. You could just Anyone, anytime, anywhere in this world, except for North Korea, Turkmenistan, you get the point on that one. Uh, where you can go on YouTube and type in sports news review, not rev sports news reviews, is the other one that's a much better site, but they mostly report on cricket, it looks like. I wonder if I get one of their, you want to assume there's. People take a look at mine going, what the heck is that? This is the wrong one. It's sports news reviews, not sports news review to themselves, right? So, yeah, it's, I probably still have uh, trouble finding sports news review on my own if I was uh, looking at it not when I, on my laptop because it's going to come easy on my laptop. And uh, this gets down to the whole st spiel about like what exactly is sports news review the studio it's a, it's a, a whiteboard you're looking at <laughs> you've got a whiteboard with a menu board that does the, does the lettering because it's a lot for the, that was only five dollars for five dollars it's a lot easier to just write it out on uh, put it out on that uh a board like that and and i just had the coach coyote because he could stand up on his own without using uh, without using like any s strings to hold them up whereas he does have ears I just if anybody is wondering he does have ears I never took the tag off for some reason he still has the hook that came with it so I bought him a long time ago like I can't even remember how long this is I, I can't I don't even remember I don't even remember how old this uh, this is like it's pre-2000 I'm not sure I've had him for such a long time. He's just standing. He stands up on his own. That's the, <laughs> He stands up on his own two feet. That's what I like about the coach, eh? Hey, coach, that's what I like about you. You stand up on your own two feet, right? Yeah. So he teaches. He preaches what he teaches. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I mean, he does it himself. He does what he preaches. He stands up on his own two feet. You know, he's a lot of, back in the day, coach used to be like, hey, um, you know, stand up on your own two feet, get up. <laughs> uh, it's amazing that, that he can stand up on his own two feet. Uh, usually, they're, what is it, they, we walk on fours? I have never seen the coyote walk on all fours in the cartoons. Uh, or have I? I don't know. It's one of those things, it's one of those uh, things you could put on Reddit. If you if you, if you ever, you ever seen Wiley e. Coyote uh, on all fours? Let's see. I'll just do that for fun. And I'm gonna put it out there. Let's see, see if you ever been on all fours, Coach. Let's let's ask the silliest question. This is ask Google the stupidest question, day. Okay. I got a response on that one. That's funny. Okay. Wiley Coyote on all fours. Well, why isn't it doing it? Let's see. Is there anything on images? Um, I don't see one image of. There's no one had no one put an image. No one put an image of you, Wiley Coyote, on all fours. No, it's not a. I've never seen it. I've never. It's maybe got to rephrase it better. Why, let's see. 
Wiley e. Coyote walking on all four legs. Mm, not much. There's nothing out there that anyone noticed. I thought one time I seen him when I was you know young watching uh, cartoons. I thought I seen him once kind of like crawling along the floor. I'm talking a long time ago, like 70s, early 70s, watching Wile E. Coyote, Roadrunner, and that. Okay. Of course, they were all uncut. But, oh, these are usually the guys I see around here. These are the ones I usually see around here. You got your, uh, Let's. Let's see. These are yeah. These are usually the ones I. This is the ones I usually see around here. But this is what you you should look. This is what you look like in real life, eh, Wiley? That's what Wiley Coyote looks like in real life. So the, the, it's almost like there, but. The ears are too long. <laughs> like, Wile E. Coyote's ears are a little, I think they're a little too long for, oh yeah, if you were to, you know, the coyotes would have ears that long. Let's see. <laughs> it would look funny. Has anyone ever done that? No, nah, that's getting out of hand here. Okay, so. I was going to look up and see if anyone's ever done Wile E. Coyote and what it would look like if it was uh, real. Uh, but, you know, bipedal. <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, so, uh, mostly, uh, not much not much happening in NFL. Let's look again for some more NFL news. I'm going to try one more round. Let's try one more round of NFL news. NFL news. See, I missed anything. The Giants won the Shaquan Barley stare down. Ooh. Shaquan Barley. Oh, wow. The Giants won the Shaquan Barley stare down. A few artists sign winners and losers of Shaquan Barkley ordeal. Obviously, you have to now pick the Giants as a victor. Barkley. A source confirmed signed a one-year deal worth 11 million Tuesday morning. That's it. They just wanted to do it for one year, 11 million. You know, uh, having Shaquan Barkley is a good because it really takes pressure off your young quarterback uh, Daniel Jones. So here is the player in question. This is Shaquan Barkley. One year deal. Okay. Giants running back. Okay, we got that. Oh, it's all about Shaquan Barkley. The Shaquan Barkley signs franchise tag. Shabar NFL running backs meet on Zoom to talk financial. Okay. I've seen that already. It's, um, it's tough. Uh, we, there's a whole thing going on with the uh, you know running backs and like easy replaced and this. Ooh. I'm looking at some. Let's see. Too much NFL.com. I want to go somewhere where it's not. Was less than more, a little more chocolate, less vanilla, because <laughs> there's too much. It's just vanilla. -y. When it goes to NFL.com, it's just too much vanilla. Let's see. Uh, today's NFL news: Bengals announced upgrades for Paycor Stadium. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, upgrades for old. St Stadium. I suppose you're not in the greater Cincinnati area is not planning to just go, okay, here you go, here's a new stadium. But what happens if Columbus builds a new stadium? I mean, Columbus, let's see, the 
the owner can move his team to Columbus. Ohio, the Ohio Bengals. Let's see. But they're going to stay put in Cincy, I guess. Because I think Columbus, let's see, the population of Columbus, Ohio. Population of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, it's only 906528, but there must be more outside of. Uh... Yeah, that's what I figured. 2.5 million. Okay. That's the greater Columbus area. 2.5 million. Okay, so what's the population of the greater Cincinnati area? 2. Point... Okay. We're looking, those are respectively same, same numbers. Okay, now, the only difference being is they're both in, the which, which one would, which one would build a stadium? Like, would Ohio, I'm sorry, would Ohio can't, would like to support a stadium being built in the Cincinnati area? Like the state of Ohio? Uh, they really don't want to get into this war between Cincy and Columbus. They're, uh, but yeah, the state of Ohio would easier. It'd be easier to approve the state uh, uh, stadium uh, funding for Cincinnati area than Columbus. Um, now, I can't see the Columbus owner deciding to try and build a stadium on his own these things are costing a lot of money and the re I don't I, I guess the goal, I guess renovations is going to be the key here but there's just no way you know like they're going to uh, there's just no way they're going to let's, let's go into it Bengals announced upgrades for... Okay, let's see what the upgrades are. Okay. Bengals announced upgrades for Paycor Stadium. The Cincinnati Bengals continue to invest in Paycor Stadium to create a best-in-class in game day experience that currently ranks as one of the top atmospheres in the NFL. Uh, it's, I, I find that it's okay to get rid of a lot of seats way up in the upper decks and and if you have the what do they call them now those um, like eateries and bars that you could see the game at, and and they call them social zones, with just bar stools. Um, not everybody's like me that can have. I, I can't even. In my health, I have to. I have to sit back. Oh my gosh! Right now I'm sitting really like very very comfortably back in the. In the, in the chair and uh, I got pillows on my back and I'm sitting on like a uh, comfortable uh, cushion the shock absorbing cushion and I gotta have this uh, microphone on a makeshift stand where I just kind of put it near my mouth but um, I how long has it been now see I don't even notice the time Okay, it's been 38 minutes I've been sitting in this chair. That's not bad. I I, I can... I'm going to need to get up soon because my leg is telling me to get up, like just to move up and get up or walk around a bit. But I'm not able to go to a, 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 a live sporting event like I used to. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to sit in... I, the car ride is going to kill me to get there. and um, Yeah, I... I I, I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna be always watch. I think I'll be watching it on TV forever. There's no way I can get to the stadiums anymore. Like I could, I have I have access to be able to get to like close stadium, like say, like the Hamilton or Toronto uh, Argonauts, but or the Hamilton Tiger Cats. I I'm just not far from here where I am. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be able I wouldn't be able to endure the car the car ride getting 
get the, there and sitting down and uh, sitting down in this uncomfortable chair a seat I, I should say a stadium seat I couldn't do it I just couldn't go to the game I I would I just no I, I, I wouldn't even be able to do it in a wheelchair it's just they're not designed they're not designed to be sitting there for three hours I, I, I'm not I, I wouldn't be able my leg would just give out it would just it would be it would be brutal getting back home and everything would be brutal so but uh, I'll look at these renovations let's see it's elevated fan experience upgraded concessions and if you're spending the day there you, you just sometimes hot dogs sometimes just hot dogs and a coke cola or a pepsi zero for me it's either a coke zero or a pepsi zero i don't care either or it's got to be one of the zeros no sugar <laughs> um but you know some i guess you know some are just not gonna want more want more than hot dogs and so i'm just looking I'm not mentioning they're not really they're not really mentioning why there's a what stadium upgrades there do I have to read I have to really read into it let's see it's like they're saying new banners graphics and murals will be installed that's that's not exactly what I'm looking at here that's not a that's not the thing we're introducing okay Pacor Stadium we're introducing all new east sideline destination bar Providing fans with a welcoming social... There we go. That's more like it. Okay. A welcoming social hub to enjoy drinks and connect with the fellow Bengal fans. A Cincinnati-themed mural created by a local artist will be a main focal point. Fans will likely... Like they are in the jungle. When walking through the west side of the stadium, the west sideline will feature the jungle bar. A complete reimagination of the Queen City tap house canopy crazies can visit the perch for grab and go drinks on either side of the stadium mm, just it's not it's not a major renovation here it's just it's just uh, that's a phone number I don't recognize let's I'm not gonna answer that phone I don't recognize that number Sports News Review does not recognize that number. I'm going to put it on pause. Alright, that was fun. There was a phone call that didn't leave a message. I don't answer phone calls with just numbers and it just says Ontario. Oh, come on. Uh, just a waste of time. More, more, they didn't leave a message. So I won't even block the number because they they're not going to call again. Okay, so I, I was asking the break here. I put it on pause. It says here that Broncos defensive end, and I can't say the name right. Okay. E E Y I O M A. So I guess it's E E Y E E Y O M A E Y O Zurich I can't say that properly. U W A Z U R I K E. U Wazurik. I'll try to say the name now. I, I, I'll probably get it wrong. E Y E Y Oma U Wazuriki. E Y E Y Oma U Wazuriki. Well, and, well, he's a well, he's a defensive end for the Broncos. He's been suspended indefinitely by the NFL, and I was like, "Oh no, what could this be?" It was the NFL has confirmed that the Denver Broncos second-year defensive end, which I can't say his name properly, E. Y. Oma Uazaki. Okay, here's what the player looks like. It's kind of funny they showed him with the gut hanging out. It's got this weird thing on his helmet. I guess it's the uh, extra protection when it's practice. This must be during like practice. Just extra protection. But here's the player in question. Yeah. 
So he won't. He's suspended indefinitely for gambling. Oh, that is. And it says from Tom Palosaro, the NFL confirmed today that Iwaoma Yuzaki of the Denver Broncos has been suspended indefinitely for betting on NFL games in the 2022 season. Oh, folks, 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 folks. If you, how, how, I, I don't understand the lure of betting when I don't really bet that much. Now, I will be doing a betting session for the season coming up, but I'm going to do it for my sports news review, like the pools and they do still do point spread. Uh, I'm going to do the, like the, the picks on Sunday morning and I will upload my picks at, 12.30 or 1 o'clock. I will upload my picks at 1 o'clock uh, because it's I wait, I'm going to wait for the uh, the window to close on uh, on the uh, on the Ontario gambling. Like uh, I get I, I, I uh, you know I have to go early in the morning do my picks. Like I wish I was an online kind of person, but my phone. My phone is old and it won't accept the online app. Now I'm just going to do like these small, really tiny wagers. Because it's, it's, I should almost write it off as a business expense. It's part of the sports news review. And uh, mainly it's to get new equipment. And one of my first things would be if I actually win money at uh, gambling. Uh, sports News Review, not for me, for my ent- for the uh, the entity that's uh, Sports News Review. I, I would like to get a, a, a tower, a, a tower with uh, a desk desk, you know, like a desk tower, like the old fashioned computer. Instead of using a laptop, like I'm doing now, the laptop is great to have it right in front of me. Like use the laptop for the information instead of the tablet, and have a tablet too for fun. But I. I would like to do my live streams with the, using the, the tower, uh, a dedicated camera instead of the laptop camera, and a better microphone system. And I might keep this as a second microphone. Uh, you know, just but like, uh, the, this doesn't have a microphone stand uh, in a sense. It stands on its own, but I can't. Cl- it's it was really cheap microphone, but. It's still better than using the microphone that's provided on the laptop. But yeah, that, mostly my uh, picks and, and the, hopefully they do point spread this year again. Hopefully they do point spread. Like I said, I'm only doing it for the Sports News Review entity. I'm going to do a, post them right before the start of the f- game on Sunday for the week. And I'll have and I'll have my uh, the uh, the pools. Now the thing with pools is that in Ontario we have the pools, and the yeah only like it's uh it could be more than one winner, and it, if there is one winner, I'm not I forget what the prize is. It's it could be over a hundred thousand dollars to uh, pick all the teams correctly. Now that's picking all the teams correctly without point spreads. Just r- straight pickums, okay. Um, I usually do really well on those, but really well doesn't matter. Like I usually, I used to get like a good like ninety percent, like the scores that you. I'd wish I would get in math back in the day, but it doesn't matter. You, most likely, you have to get a hundred. You get a person would have to get a hundred percent to win. Um, doesn't mean you have to have a 100% to win, but if it's less than 100%, most likely you got other winners with you, so the price will, like, dwindle, because it could, you could have multiple winners, and, and very high multiple winners, which would make the pool even, uh, spread out more, the prize money would end up spreading out more, so, but, like, I was just thinking for like that for fun to get a better studio, a uh, better microphone, uh, you know, better setup. Uh, uh, I 
still won't show my. F I still won't show me. I uh, probably will get a better. W even, just a like. Uh, I don't know. Do I? I guess. Do I need the camera? Camera for the? Yeah, I suppose. Like, there's a lot of things I'd want on that thing. Like, on the. Uh, on the uh, uh, tower it's like it's going to be like more of a custom tower I'm going to look into where it has a microphone inputs for uh, USB of course As, you know you're going to have a lot I'm going to have a lot of USB inputs uh, that's that's the number one problem with this one this thing is it's only got two because uh, one is one is dedicated to the wireless mouse and I'm hoping that they come stand. I hope a wireless mouse is almost optional and standard, where I don't have to waste a USB port for a wireless mouse. Uh, like that, that that is such a game changer. The wireless mouse. Uh, I can't do with. I cannot do without the wireless mouse. So that's why one USB port is wasted on my la uh, basic laptop. Remember, I I I needed a laptop big big time because the. I was doing streams on my old laptop and it was horrible and yeah I read like I said uh, winning winning is for the sports news review I'm not even interested in in my own life and like uh, I don't like I said I don't really want anything in life except groceries a roof over my head groceries with TV screen, like what's like the basic, the Maslow basic needs, eh? Is first is uh, we need air, like we need we need an earth that we could breathe the air in. Okay, then the second is shelter, you know, and third is food and water, water and food. Water is more important than food for the uh, you know. Who is it? Yeah, you really. You really can't function without water. It it, it have it have it's a lot of effect on everyone on anyone. But so for me it would be after all that, then it's uh NFL. Watching NFL is my fourth one. That's I don't have anything else. When they say like uh, your own needs after after you have uh, uh the shelter, uh the food and groceries what's next is just personal satisfaction and for me it's going to be watching NFL games and this is like I said this is all for fun for me uh, to do sports news review channel and then to watch it when I'm much older and in a nursing home I'm hoping that it helps me uh, just keep my wits as sharp to think like well I used to, you know who am I who, try, I don't know see what happens from there but because the 99% of these videos are just watched by and listened by me like I'm I'm a complete nobody in a pool of people trying to be a sports and live streaming uh, channel and it's hard it's like it's like trying to scream your your announcement in a hurricane and <laughs> win. Good luck if anyone's ever gonna hear you. There's a crowd of people, but there's a windstorm. Yeah, good luck if they're gonna hear me hear me going. Hey, gang, folks, there's sports news review when you get back home, or you could do that, or you could put on your mobile device if you have enough data. Sports news review. Yeah, that's really gonna go well. I I, I like I said. Uh, there's really good YouTubers and there's really good channels that live stream too, and there's yeah that's another thing about like getting the oh I, I touched the microphone and moved it a bit. I wonder if it's still gonna work, but it's a very sensitive microphone. Okay, so I'm wondering what was it? Like? Yeah, I'm wondering about the whole concept of getting the uh, tower is. That I, I'm even gonna look to see if there's a uh, XL uh, X. I'm gonna actually see if I could put an XLR input microphone input where I could with phantom power too. Like this could this could get very costly in the sense of uh, personalized personal 
personalization of the uh, tower but that's a real game changer if I can get an XLR uh, microphone input and of course a USB I, you know but USB input microphones are just fine I, I think I I don't think I need the XLR input I just more more USB inputs is probably what's needed and I guess the guys I was saying that I would get the I would get the camera but because because the desktop needs a camera or the tower they need a camera they can't can't use there's no built-in camera like the laptop which you know because it doesn't make any sense so yeah I, I suppose I would probably do the same setup I've got here if, you know with the the whiteboard I put I put a background of today I put the background of the uh, of the uh, cactus cacti and it's just to show that Wile E. Coyote in Arizona, New Mexico, where it was pretty prevalent back in the day with uh, the uh, Wile E. Coyote Roadrunner show. I just thought it'd be cute for doing that. But the... Uh, I, I can't believe I drifted so different, many different ways here. Let me try to see if anything else. Yeah, the gambling thing. That's because I, I drifted on the gambling, and I thought that. Well, you talk about the clickbait here. I'm on. I'm reading about the gambling thing. Okay, so now it says, it says a town. Well, your town, wherever your town is is now breezing through customs with Nexus okay so and this is the picture they show of some odd reason like this is supposed to be a customs official I guess and it says that I have no idea what this is like like clickbait and the funny part is is that person probably does not exist. That picture I showed, that person might not even exist as, as like, say, the person left of Vince Vaughn. It's no secret why Vince Vaughn isn't around anymore. And then it says, live in blank. This page knows the city I'm in. Ryan wants to talk to you. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, this is really bad. It's funny as hell. But I'm trying to see more on it on the on the story with the uh, gambling. So, but it says that clearly this is a big blow to the defensive line rush unit. Denver already lacks depth in the position. Well, you had a uh, player that gambled for. I don't know. I just don't understand the point of. Guy, when that was gambling, they're making they're making so much money. There's no need. I, you can't gambling can't be for money anymore. Okay, so this is breaking. It says Texans C J Stroud signs rookie contract. Okay, that's this is breaking. Okay, we all. You know, I bet you I'm not the only one that forgot that he still had to sign a contract with him, but a rookie deal at least. But I thought it was automatic almost. But it seemed like it, it seemed like it is. So there is the person in question. A lot of a lot of players are going for that clear visor on their helmets, which I understand why. Okay, so here is the C.J. Stroud. C.J. Stroud signs a rookie contract with the Texans. Okay, hopefully for him, lucky seven. He's lucky seven here. 
says that Houston Texas quarterback C.J. Stroud is now officially under contract. There was a little drama as Nick Casario and Stroud's representatives were hammering out details. Wow. Okay. Okay, here's a better better picture. And doesn't have pads on, it looks like he just has uh, just a helmet on. But there is a nice picture. You never know. Could be CJ Stroud's year. Okay. Let's see if there's any different. Oh my gosh. Okay. Jimmy Garoppolo passing his physical. Oh. Jimmy Garoppolo passing his physical and ensures the 49ers get a complimentary pick. Oh. Okay, but he passed his physical. Oh. Okay. So that's good news, I guess, if you're Raiders say. Oh, it says here, Giants need Daniel Jones to take a big step forward in these areas. Oh, oh just let it be. He'll be fine. Okay, Bengals sign... Chipotle Awuze and Leal Collins and on the PUP list. Uh, you know, that's complicated. That's for. Uh, I'm not going to go into that one. Oh, gosh. Train Cap heralds a new era for the Falcons. Well, are they all in? They're not even trying. They're not even trying to get it. Like, they're not going to try to say that they really want to get a quarterback like the USC. Who is it? Caleb? Caleb from the USC? Now, there's someone I want on my team bad if I was the Falcons. I want Caleb. Is it Caleb? What is it? Caleb Williams? I forget his name. Caleb. Um. USC quarterback. Let's see. Caleb Williams. I had it right. Okay. I had it right. Let's see. Images. There's a nice picture. There's a nice picture. There is Caleb Williams. I want, if I was an NFL owner, like Mr. Mr. Uh, what is it? I forget his name. Uh, Arthur, Arthur Blank. I forgot his name, but the owner of the Atlanta Falcons, or any other team, some other teams. I want this person. I want this person. He's worth a try. I mean, this person could be the next franchise quarterback a team is looking for. Just sitting there at USC, and the only, the only reason he's not in the draft was because he's there's some technicality that he switched teams in his first year. So, second year counted as the first year again, which I totally disagree with. I, like, Lane Kiffin is the coach that was crying about players getting paid. Well, Lane, a boo-hoo-hoo. Oh, it's okay if, the, it's okay if coaches, if some coaches are the number one, uh, was it payroll? on the payroll for government employees to, to, uh, some some colleges and states the coach of the football team uh, college team is the number one on the payroll but oh 
oh, the player's getting paid, and they don't, and I gotta figure out a way that I'm not a top, you know, I got, I'm, I'm not on the top team program, I, I, got, I, I can't just say, oh, come to, come to my team, and you get, you know, I'll give you a tryout, and you'll be on my team, and, oh, no, 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 they're getting paid, well, boo-hoo-hoo, Lane, I really mean that, boo-hoo-hoo to you, Lane, Lane Kiffin, but too bad, I was sucked in, you know, when I was a young person, I was sucked into like, oh yeah, I guess it's amateur, they sh I guess you shouldn't get, I guess you, playing players is not a good idea, and then after a while, I was like, no, no, who cares, what does football have to do with, like, education, like, what is, you know, uh, it's an extracurricular activity, and the school is making an obscene amount of money, and giving it to the coach, ninety pro how much percent of it is given back to the coach, and um, it's not like as if they make new stadiums for themselves and they give it all to the coach to, to, to get to get a team better team. And of course, Link Kiffin's crying. Does he want to see what I'm talking about? Link, is it Link? You know, Link Kiffin? Is it the one? But let me, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go on a whim. I'm gonna go on a limb here. Okay, Lane Kiffin. Okay, try again. Lane Kiffin. Let's see. Is this 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 the one he cried about? The uh... why are people searching for Layla Kiffin? I don't know. See, Lane Kiffin says, oh, State of College football is a disaster. What, what, what a little... Okay, whatever. Look at this. There's, there, there's the smug face on the guy with the... You, you kid, you, little crybaby. You know, you don't think it's possible. There's people in this world that I'm never... They're going to hit play. You don't think it's... You don't think it's possible in this world that people, that people are like him. Just they don't care about others. They really, they only care what they could do for them. That's the. This is the, like I don't know if I can get a good picture. Like here, but. Someone like him, my opinion. After all those years in, on this, and I'm older than him, and I know for, I could bet every, possible, anyone else. You want to bet? You want a sure bet? I'm older than him. I know that. I could just, it's just the way it is. I'm, but in my life experience and older, in the way seeing people, like I never met power brokers or anything like that. But I could just tell by the personality that he's extruding out is. Like I said, he's he's all he's all about like what you could do for me to make the program to so I can make the look good, you know, like whatever. Here it is. Well, let me do boo hoo hoo. Let me cry a few tears from boo hoo hoo hoo. Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, Miss Coach Lane Kiffin didn't wait for questions on the impact of the transfer portal and name, image, and likeness deals. It is. SCT on Thursday instead he addressed both topics he, he, what gets me is like like uh, why would you go play for this guy seriously if you're a top prospect in, in college sports okay you're just coming out of high school why would you go to Lane Kiffin's uh, l listen listen to what he's saying you know like the state of football is a complete a, re, a complete disaster. Just because teams don't want to play, they don't want to play on a bowl game, a meaningless bowl game to them. Like they're uh, we're not like you know how many players are, there's eighty players on a football team and on a college team. Okay, okay. I don't know why they I don't know why they dress so many. It's just funny as heck. To, but I don't know. I, I I don't want to get into the reasoning why. But let's just say, okay. So you got three guys there, three three players there on the team that like you know what. 
Uh, this this bowl game uh, it's kind of meaningless to to me because it's not for a national championship. All it is is just a bowl game, and if I get injured, that's millions millions with an M millions of dollars I'm gonna lose. Oh, and like even just to have a short NFL career of five years, the average is 4.5 if you're, I think, even, even that's probably, that's the average career. Okay? So even having the average career, uh, like, it's, I can't imagine right now if I'm 19, 20, or 21 years old, right? 21 years old. And I get $4 million. If I have a head on my shoulders, and I don't play after that, a it's good for a very, very, and I mean very simple lifestyle. You're good. Person could still work anywhere, okay? And, like, it kind of sounds crazy in today's world that a millionaire is working. But, you know, it's like to keep an expensive lifestyle of uh, owning an own property and having extra cars and that. So, you know the the uh, the work is just good, and they have build up a retirement fund to whatever work you know they build up a retirement fund. Now, like you can't risk that all on a bowl game, like, like the, when you like now ninety percent, not more than ninety nine percent of players in the college. I'm not going to make the NFL. I mean, we're talking a lot of players that are not going to make the NFL. And just to have a select few to go, well, you know, I don't want to play in this because my whole future is at, at risk. But if they're playing for they will no, they will play for a national championship because that's to get their draft prospect hired. Winning playing in a national championship game in the college level will get your draft a prospect to get higher higher pick the higher the you know signing bonus is so yeah it's especially if it's a quarterback they're gonna like well you know it's like if I win the national championship I'm pretty you know I'm looking at number one number one uh, draft pick here so guaranteed to be drafted and try it out and guaranteed to you know have at least decent con uh, start with a contract but to play in something like the, what is it, the, we want to call it, the XYZ Bowl and, uh, at, the end of, at the end of December, uh, eh, that's just, eh, it's not worth it. So th that's what he's going to mention here. So let's see. Let, let's, let's, let's digest in this one. Okay. Okay, Mike, Lane Kiffin didn't work. Okay, Kiffin prefaces Thomas by saying he's happy that players can get paid. Of course he's gonna say that. Why? Why wouldn't he say that? I, I, I'm not. Well, it's nice that they get paid, but then that's that, that. But you're just gonna say it anyways. But it's a disaster, and he's gonna come up. Like, okay, the difference between Elaine Kiffin and moi is that Elaine Kiffin can say what he really wants, but has a uh, has speech writers to help. Trust me. They have media people that they help. Oh, okay, because he's he's probably prepared this to make sure that he doesn't screw it up for recruits. Like I said earlier, like why would I want to go to this Lane Kiffin if he's gonna already say, oh, I don't like this. It doesn't look good that the players can't pay. But he says, I did, I read it. I read it. The uh, you know I read it just now where it says uh, he's glad that they're getting paid well he's got to say that but deep down inside he's like mm, no, I'm good guy you know like I wish they didn't get paid I wish it was like back in that's what the whole thing is no matter what he's trying to say is mainly that he would like the way the system was say five even three years ago you know or five years ago let's say when the thought of getting paid was not happening, okay? And 
Oh, you want to come here? You're going to have to... Oh, you want to leave? Oh, let's... No, no, no. You're going to have to sit out of here. Why? 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 Coaches don't... You know, so I'm ready to just scream into the microphone saying, well, um, if a college coach leaves, uh, he probably has an out on his contract where he gets to go coach another team. Like, he... Like, if... Some universities would, if it were a lower ranked university, would sign a coach, and 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 there is an option where, well, if uh, if one of the big guys call me up, or big big college teams call me up, one of the or one of the bigger college, I should just say one of the bigger colleges uh, call me up, like a USC. Nah, you you see all these better. U, USC, not UFC. USC, UCLA. Or, well, you know, like the, uh, uh, was it, like the old days was Miami, but eh, their program's not the, used to be. But, you know, a Penn State, no, a Michigan, <laughs> Michigan State. Now, if some reason they're calling me up as, a, as in signing this contract, it's like, oh, I got an out. My agent makes sure that they get, it's, I get an out here where... I get to just leave and no harm, no foul, where I get to go coach and get paid to coach higher uh, at another college or a university. But, uh, oh, but a player, oh, no, you can't, you just can't get up and switch here because we, 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 we decided to give you this uh, uh, scholarship, which, uh you know, oh, it's worth this much money. Well, yeah, sure, that's nice, but it's not working out for me here, right? I got my whole future, right? It's like, doesn't someone have their own future to worry about? Who knows why they want to change? Maybe they want to change because th there's there's a better program to educate themselves. You know, how do you stand in the way of somebody that goes, well, this is there's a better architecture program. And I'm not that I'm not going to make the NFL. And if I do make the NFL, maybe I'll make it in a couple of years. I still would like to have a nice education where I could use, a anyways, you know. But whatever, like, I'll I'll read a little bit more just to get myself all wound up for no reason. I mean, it seems like I like to get wound up. Okay, but. But he said the unintentional consequence of a pay-for-play system where players follow the money and the teams with the deepest pockets get the best talent. Well, uh, uh, that's too bad. <laughs> that's 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 too bad. I've always said there's too many colleges, and he, by the way, they can knock off half the colleges, like. Let's let's put it up there, okay? Okay, let's see. Division one, it would be okay. Let's see. Division one teams, college football. List of NCAA FBS programs. List of Division one teams that find the right for your goal, fit the right for your goal. There's, a, here it is, a list of Division one football teams. Let's reject that. Okay. Well, I want to see the list. Let's see. Rankings, teams. Review our full list. Can you. Full list of Division One. Wow. Okay. Look, look, look how it goes. Okay. Here's, here's starting with the A's. We'll start with the A's. Aberdeen Christian University, Aberdeen, Texas. The prime. This is a Division One. Like I'm sorry, but like an Aberdeen Christian could go to a, a, a two. Alabama A and M. Now this is not Alabama that we're thinking of. This is Alabama A and M. Alabama State University M might be the one that's in Montgomery. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Alabama A&M University. That's agricultural min mineral. Uh, normal Alabama. Is that the... Is it Alabama State University? No. 
Wait, Alabama A and M University. I've never even heard. Okay, who has ever heard of this one, Alabama? A and M. I'm usually here of Texas A and M. Okay, where's Alabama? Wait, full list of Division One football teams. Abilene, Alabama A and M, Alabama State University, Alcorn State. Where's Where's Alabama? Arizona, Arizona, Arkansas State, Auburn. You got Auburn. Where's Okay, where's the Alabama Crimson Tide in this one? Baylor, Bethune, Boise, Boston, Bowling Green, the Brigham Youngs. Like, okay, like this is like going up the list. How far are we going? Look at this. We're we're going. I'm moving it. Okay, I'm only on P. Prairie View A and M. Like this is a Division One football team. I'm sorry, but how can that even be still in the Presbyterian College? I'm not sure. Princeton University. Now Princeton's in the Ivy League. Get it? Princeton's in the Ivy League. It's it's something that like because they were there before, I guess. But Purdue, Rice. Robert Morris University, Rutgers, St. Francis, Sam Houston, and you got your Stanford, San Diego State. I remember San Diego State. Let's see if they still have Is this the Aztecs? Or no, that's the other one. You're founded 1897. Oh, wow. I understand why some are missing from this big list, and this is a huge list. Let's see, Texas. See, that's the one I remember. Texas A&M University. Texas A&M University Commerce. Tennessee State, Tampa. Is if I, let's see, Texas A&M. No, that's not the one I remember. I don't remember them with a lion. I remember the Texas A&M with the T and E. Yeah. I remember this old Texas A&M from back in my day. Yeah, it was he want to go back to days when Texas A&M ruled and they used to recruit, like, the, uh, what's it called? Running backs. Texas Tech. The Citadel. Didn't know that. But, oh, come on, who who'd have known this one? Townsend University. They're in the like these are these these are in they're in Division One. I've never seen one of their games practically. I would. They don't even reach bowl games. It seems like what all these teams like. There's got to be a one year there's just someone like me just spews it out and says you know just make a super division one like super division one college like we like your big programs like UFC the UCLA's USC's uh Stanford uh you can they don't like they'll draw more if they have and your uh Oh, was it? Yeah, Washington, the Huskies, and, and uh, Oregon's got the Ducks. Like, like you know, for that's on the West Coast, but you, you can have like ten West Coast teams, and then the Big Ten. ten and Texas is gonna have to fight it out between Texas and. You, you, of course, you got Arkansas who could be in it. You, you know, all the you, Texas Longhorns. I mean, the Floridas. Uh, of course, the Florida uh, Miami Hurricanes. 
University of Miami Hurricanes, uh, Florida uh, Seminoles. Last one, I guess, to be recognized is with the uh, North North Indigenous uh, uh, peoples. Um, it's just it's it's just needs like there's just not a big deal to me, and the they really I I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it again like yeah there should just be a super division one conference in college football I mean these small schools they're just they're not really I don't know what you get out of it if you it's better to have a championship even if it's tier two <laughs> division two division three than to be stuck in limbo in division one where you might get a like you might get a big college team that plays and the only reason they play they ask you to oh can you can we play oh yeah, yeah they're gonna put them in the home opener so that way the team wins their home opener like a Penn State or uh, or a Texas Longhorn they really they really really want to play a team that they hope they want they just want to win the home opener as they you know so. Yeah, it was a call just being caught cannon fodder for the home openers is in, that's that's what you want to be and what you know see you know what I'm saying is that what like uh, you know he, he I don't know I guess yeah uh, you know well, he, he like I said, I'm looking at this, looking at this article again. It's like whatever. It's like I'll leave it at that. Um, it's funny how it ended up on college football, but I'll leave it at that. And it's been how long has I been on this now? One twenty-seven, almost as long as a normal movie, regular movie. Ninety, oh no, ninety minutes. But I'm not going to make it to the 90 minute mark because I'm going to cut this off now. And I hope to. Oh, yes! I was going to say, hope to see you Friday night. I'm going to live stream the Hamilton Tiger Cats game. Okay, there is a Thursday night football game. And I'm going to be watching the uh, Rising Rhino. Well, I'm going to listen to Rising Rhino on the laptop. I have him on, on the sound bar. And then I'm going to listen to the game and watch it on the television, Thursday Night Football, CFL. And it's funny how I do this. When uh, This this year is going to be funny where I'm going to have like the, the game on the television, listening to it. Because I'm not going to be live streaming every single game. But I like listening in on the other live streamers. And I'm going to have Rising Rhino on the laptop. or And then uh, I'll have... Uh, Jaguar Gator is his name? Yes, if I got it right. Jaguar Gator 9. He's got a few channels, I guess. And he'll be live streaming too. I'll listen to that on another soundbar, like a, like a uh, Bluetooth speaker. So I'll have them two uh, listening in on uh, their live stream while I watch the game. But uh, I will live stream Friday's Hamilton versus. Is it Hamilton? If I got it correctly, Ottawa, I guess? Is it... Uh, I'll, I'll do a promo, too, for it. Let's see. Hamilton Tiger Cats. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, they play Ottawa. Yeah, that's right. So, Hamilton plays Ottawa Friday, uh, July 28th at 7.30. And I'll have my two iconic stuffed puppets from from uh, Hostess Chips uh, there was three of them originally like I said earlier there's uh, like I said in an earlier uh, video that there's there's actually three those I only have I have two out of the three I have the red and the yellow and the orange one is the one I'm missing and somebody wants it for a hundred somebody wants an orange one for hundred twenty five dollars I'm like eh, I don't have that kind of funds right now. I got two of them. That's good enough. Um, but I got the red one, which is I call ketchup, and the yellow one I call salt and vinegar. 
And if I had the orange one, I'd call them barbecue. <laughs> There's the chips. It would have looked more natural if it would have just called the red one ketchup and the yellow one mustard. But they're not condiments. They're, they were bags of... Ch they were like representing Hostess chips, which Frito-Lay bought. And they got rid of the Hostess. And those puppets, those iconic puppets, the stuffed toys. Like, I'll show you what I mean. Let's see. For anyone outside of Canada or very young never seen these before probably because it was just promotion you had to mail in chip bags with self addressed stamp envelope and money and, and you get yourself a uh, a stuffed toy <laughs> which is one of the hostess uh, so a family member had the red one and they kept the red, red one forever and they were cleaning up and they were going to have a garage sale, as they say. And I said, I'll take that red. <laughs> this is like in 1997 or something like that. I go, I'll, I'll take that red. Uh, I'll take that red hostess munchie. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> and then later on at a garage sale, I found Mr. Yellow. He had his neck. Neck was ripped. But they were, I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I brought it home. My mother was laughing at it going, what the heck? <laughs> With the googly eyes and everything like that. So I have, that's why I have the two uh, hostess things. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't want to pull them out. I, 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 I make sure they don't get dust on them. They're all hidden. So let's see. I'm trying for this. Let's see. Hostess munchies. Yeah, there they are. Oh, there's one I'm missing. Oh, he's cute. Oh. Okay, this is the one I'm missing. I would call him barbecue. Oh, he's a cutie pie. His ears. Yeah, the ears always flop down on these things. He's a cutie pie. But I got... Oh, yeah, there's the two. There's the three together. The three amigos. Okay, this is the my eyes. Mine, the eyes aren't crossed on mine. I don't know why his eyes are crossed on mine. Mine doesn't have the eye, eyes crossed on it. Well, well, I got this. Yeah, because I got the red one, and of course. Well, here, yeah, the this guy will. This guy will deliver them in sealed bags. Here's all. Here's all three amigos. This guy will. This person. This person will give them to you in cell phone bags. I don't know if that's the original bags they came in. That's crazy. But here they are, the three amigos. I only got the red one and the yellow one. Yeah. So they were just the. They, there, oh, it's a vintage in the 80s Hostess plush munchies set of three. Orange, yellow, and red. That's all they came in. Sealed in the original. Wow. Sealed in the original thing. Okay. A lot of, a lot of them, they show the ears are just kind of flopping down. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Someone's got the bag. Sour cream and bacon. Wow, that sounded good. Where'd that was that flavor? Oh wow, I didn't hear the art. They were. This is what they would look like on the bag. Barbecue. They're all. They used to put all three on the bag. Oh, I didn't know that. They had their own commercials. But here's what they looked like on the bag. That was a later edition, I guess. But so, oh my God, the foil pack, aluminum foil pack. I can't believe this was. Here's the original, like long time ago. The Hostess chips munchies with the that goes back in my childhood, back in the day or adulthood. I uh, you could never sell them in that bag. There, there's probably too many holes in those bags. Um. Let's see. 
Win cash. Regular. Here's here's a bag of Hostess chips with the three amigos on them. Oh, that that just that's that is just a simpler times back in the day. And this is the one I call salt and vinegar, yellow. There's a Hostess chips bag with the three meat guys on it, and I call the yellow guy salt and vinegar. There he is. Salt and vinegar. Wow. Smoky bacon. Okay. Woo. <laughs> the flavor of smoky bacon. That sounds so good. I used to buy those. I probably bought... I, I, I don't even know how many Hostess chips have. My favorite was... This is this was... Ooh, Star Trek. The Next Generation. Okay, folks. Here's the price of the chip bag. But then again, how much how much do you get? How much is the... Uh, count on it how much is the count let's see where's the weight of it I don't see oh 55 grams okay so it was 55 grams okay it says 69 cents so Star Trek the next generation was just started and we still are still using the hostess munchies as, as mascots wow this goes this is like I was really old then I, I was buying the big bags of chips not the small bags anymore Just to date it, like it's just the Star Trek, eh? That's crazy. Oh wow, there's barbecue. <laughs> They're barbecuing what I call this is funny. They're barbecuing salt and vinegar. This is a big bag. <laughs> they would never do this anymore. <laughs> Bar <laughs> Bar barbecuing one of them. That's just, it's a uh, back then we were all like so it's so funny there's my favorite flavor oh there's ketchup okay ketchup and sour cream and onion one of the two I used to love sour cream and onion too there's ketchup and sour cream and onion those are the two bags I'm talking about see my yellow guy was sour cream and, I mean the yellow bag was was, was uh, salt and vinegar and the other guy I call him ketchup just as a name but Oh wow, those are going back to the days. Those were the days, as they call it. Dill Peco. I didn't even remember. I forgot about that. Wow. Somebody still has a bag. Like these are old. Remember, somebody has a bag of Dill Peco. I I would buy Dill Peco once in a while, just when I was in the mood. Oh, those are going back. Now, at my age, I can't even have chips anymore. Uh, just I was told not to eat so many chips and I so you know what life is like without potato chips it's called life without potato chips it's just something about it just I don't know I I I, I miss potato chips so much I, I I love potato chips uh I I haven't bought potato chips since I was told not stop eating them I uh, I still eat french fries on a Friday I'll have fish and chips or go get one of those fish sandwiches that's the only fast food I eat now I get a fish sandwich on Friday and I'll have the fries with it uh, it's either McDonald's fish or the or the Burger King uh, fish but I, I, I'm not supposed to eat that but I, I just once I just I just have and then, and then I get my potato I can't even have baked potatoes anymore too and then I get my uh, fix with the uh, French fries, but oh man, this just all made me hungry to push pu push stop on this video. And no, I'm not gonna go out and buy a bag of potato chips. This is not, I just can I not allowed. Uh, I just like I looked at my lab results again, and yeah, I gotta stay off the potato chips. Period. I I gotta keep doing what I'm doing. And like I said, I'm only. I only, I'm only bad, bad person on Fridays when I have a fillet of fish or a fish sandwich from Burger King with fries. That's my only guilty thing I do now. I don't eat any treats at all anymore. Uh, prunes, prunes are a treat for me. Which I'm, I know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a couple of prunes to get over the feeling of having having a snack. Because I really, really love 
potato chips. And I really, really love french fries. But I ate too many of them. That's the problem in life. If, if, if I would have just did it in moderation throughout my whole life, instead of a daily... The daily meal for one month sometimes would be hamburgers, fish sandwich, on a chicken sandwich, and fries. Uh, oh, a chicken sandwich. It's got to be grilled chicken. I can have... Oh, yes. I forgot about that. I don't have the money for it, but if I did have money for it to eat out... Uh, Grilled grilled chicken with whole wheat. It's got to be whole wheat. And I don't I even supposed to eat that much bread, too. Uh, uh, just, like, I, I'm really not supposed to. And what bread I eat is at least got to be whole wheat. I cannot, I cannot eat white bread anymore. I'm not allowed to eat white bread anymore. So, Okay, folks, with that, I'm going to snack on some prunes. <laughs> Lots of fiber. Okay, so it's over and out. Okay, coach. Uh, sorry to make you hungry, coach, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, coach isn't happy. He's kind of hungry now. So I'll tell you what. I'll see if there's any uh, beef stew. He likes to take. I like to just give him the little eat the beef. Stew. You know, like if you beef stew, just give him a little chunks here and there. He's a small guy. He doesn't need that much. Okay, take care, folks. Over and out. Hopefully I see you Friday at the uh, live stream with uh, uh with the uh, Toronto with the Hamilton Tiger Cats versus the uh, Ottawa uh, Red Blacks 7:30 Friday.